Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In these videos, I show you how to make one tangle using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today, I'm using a Micron pen. I have a graphite pencil to do some drawing and shading, and I have a blending tool called a tortillon. I'm also using a two inch by two inch paper tile from zentangle.com, and these are called bijou tiles. All right, today's tangle is called Uncorked, and it was created by Adele Bruno, who was also a certified Zentangle teacher. All right, so for today, I'm actually gonna start on a piece of scrap paper, just so I can show you this tangle before we put it on the tile. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just putting a little dot and then we're going to do this series of like a thin moon shape. So I'm going to curve up like that. And without picking up my pen, I'm going to come back down. And now I don't have to pick up my pen. I can keep my pen there. And then I'm going to curve up, but I'm going to come just inside that first shape. And then I'm going to do an interior line back down. I'm going to go up this way and go on that inside for the second line and then curve up this way and come back on the inside. Okay, so go ahead and practice it a few times if you need to and then I'll show you how to do it on the tile. All right, let's flip this over. Okay, so this one we're going to use this tangle to create a butterfly. So if you would like to start with pencil, you can, just because it's a little bit tricky to get the hang of it. So I'm gonna start with my dot, not quite at the center, but up above the center a little bit like that. Maybe over a little. And then I'm going to imagine these butterfly wings that come up this way and up this way. And then they kind of make these ovals. I'm just getting a little pencil sketch in here so I know where to put these. Then I'm going to do a large one this way. Maybe even out a little more. And a large one over here. Okay, just kind of getting that idea of where I want to put these four uncorked shapes. Okay, I hope it's not overwhelming pick up my pen and I'm going to turn my tile a little bit and I'm going to do this one first. So when I showed you the example, I started on the left hand side, but I'm going to start on the right. So I'm going to start at that dot and I'm going to make this kind of a backwards moon shape. So I'm going to go over there and then I'm going to come back in that center like that. And then from that same dot, I'm going to curve and come up a little bit short on that end. So watch how I do that. I curve up and in, and then I make that interior moon shape. And then I'm gonna do another one the opposite way. So I go this way, and then I, re and I go back in through the center this way. And then I curve up this way and come in. All right, I hope that wasn't confusing. Okay, on this side, I'm going to start at this top part here. So I'm going to make that moon shape nice and narrow. And I'm going to curve and come up on this side. So I curve up and I come just short of that first one. And then I go on that inside and make that moon. And now I curve the other side and come back down. And then I curve this way and come back down. It's such a fun one to make once you get the hang of it. And I'm making mine more in an oval, 
where um, you definitely could make it just as a large circle. Okay, okay, these ones down here I want to be a little bit larger to be the bottom part of these wings. So I'm going to start at that dot again, and I'm going to do a really nice curve down, nice and big like that. And maybe I'll go ahead and put the other curve in on the other side, just so I can make sure they kind of match. I just basically need this big bump. So now I'm going to go towards that interior and I'm going to make that thin little crescent moon and go right up to that dot. And if you'd like to do the other side, you can as well. Okay, now I need to go the opposite side. So I've got this side of the oval. I need to do this side, but remember I'm gonna land a little bit short. So I'm gonna curve out nice and wide and come in a little bit short and then make the interior of that shape. And then I wanna go the opposite way. So now I curve this way and come up short. And then I go this way and come up short. I hope that's making sense. It's basically a crescent moon, a shorter crescent moon, a shorter one, and a shorter one. Okay, now we need to do the other side. So I'm gonna make this nice big curve. And remember, make it a little bit shorter. And then go back with that moon shape. And now I want to go this way and come up short again. And go back in. And then I go the opposite way. And I go back in. I hope that's making sense. <laughs> I just love she had an example on the internet um, on her step out where she explained each of the steps. She had this little butterfly as a variation and I just loved it and thought it would be fun to do. So it's a little more complicated than we're used to, but I think it's going to turn out amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to put, we're basically done with uncorked. It's just that one simple shape, um, but now we're going to add some other things to it. So I'm gonna put some cute little antenna up here. To do that, I'm gonna go up wide. I'm gonna make kind of an elongated curve. And then on this side, a nice and then like kind of an elongated curve. You can make your antenna however you would like. So I chose this pattern today because I live in Michigan and I'm part of something called monarchwatch.org and I'm trying to help save the monarchs, the monarch butterflies. So right now I have a chrysalis and I have about 10 little eggs, but I also have almost a hundred monarch caterpillars. Um, if you go to my TikTok channel, which is just Kelly Bluen, um, you can see some of my videos, but I have almost a hundred caterpillars. So Pretty soon I should have a hundred butterflies that I can release into the wild. So I'm fascinated with butterflies right now. Okay, if you've got that far, um, we're just gonna add a few enhancements. So we got these pretty little spaces and I thought it would be fun to put some things in there. So in this top space right here, I just wanna add like a little line and a couple of dots. You don't have to add anything in these, but because it's a butterfly, I thought it would be fun. And then in these two little spaces here, let's just put some bumps that kind of pile on top of each other. And you can do anything you want in these, but I'm gonna put an orb in the center. So fill up that center. And then I'm going to put smaller orbs on each side. 
And if I've got room, I can go even smaller. That one I don't have as much room, and that's okay. I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna ink in those little extra spaces. Again, this is not part of the original tangle, but it's just a fun way to add a little more detail. Okay, I'm gonna do that same line with a couple of dots in that large area and on the side over here, if you've got room. One, two, three. Got a little messy there with my ink. And I think in these two spots, I'll just put this little like teardrop shape. Just to fill in that space. And if you want, if you've got room up here, you could put another one. Just if you have room, do whatever you want. Then as a little extra, at the end of their little wing tips here, I'm going to put a dot at the end of each one of those. Maybe I'll put two on the top ones. Isn't that cute? And then, um, I'm, you know, usually we start by making that little frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to, maybe I'll do it with my pencil first. Just going to put in a little frame around this. And it's okay if it goes behind your wings doesn't matter. But I'm going to add my little frame and I'm going to make it kind of a wiggly, very delicate line. If you don't want to frame on yours, you don't have to. Okay, I'll put my pen down for a minute. Actually, first I'm gonna initial my work. And then I'm gonna put my pen down and do a little bit of shading because the shading is gonna make this look three-dimensional instead of just like a flat butterfly. So I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of graphite on the outside edge of each of those wings. Carefully go around each wing and add that graphite. This is a fun one to practice a few times, so if it didn't go as well, please do it over again and just play until you're comfortable with it. I'm going to take my blending tool and I'm going to soften that area around the wings. And I'm going to push that graphite out and away from the wings. that. See how that butterfly is already popping off the paper a little bit. My light is really bright today, so it kind of washes some of those shadows out. To make them a little darker for you. Okay, so then I'm just going to add a little bit more shading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these crescent moons and I'm going to just put a little bit of shading on the outside of those. 
So I already did the outside, so I'm going to do that part there. And I'm going to go on the outside of this one and the outside edges of this. This one has that outer edge, so I just need to do this side. And I can soften it slightly. Just gives that a little bit of definition. I'm going to go ahead and go around, just picking each crescent moon, adding that shading to each side of it. There's a little one in here. And this one. So just pick those little moon shapes, put graphite on each side of them. And when I'm softening them, I'm always going away from that little white moon shape. So for this large moon shape here, I'm pushing away and then that way. This is such a small area to shade. I know it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, and then lastly on this, I'm going to make these little spirals in the background. So I think I'm going to do them on the outside frame instead of the inside, but very lightly with my pencil just going to put in these little curves and I am going fast. I'm not really worried about the size of them or the shape of them. Just wanted to add a little something so light and gentle. Just a spiral shape. And then I'm going to take my blending tool and I'm just going to kind of soften those and spread them out. And that just gives this very subtle pattern on the outer edge. Let me see if I can change my lighting at all. Let me see. That shows it a little bit better. Anyway, that is uncorked. I hope it wasn't too complicated. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Facebook at Let's Tangle. Follow me on TikTok at Kelly Bluen. And um, follow along for more fun videos. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.